Hi, my name is Dr. Chad Kluver. I am an optometrist with Eye Surgeons Associates. The FYI topic for today is what is known as a subconjunctival hemorrhage. A subconjunctival hemorrhage is a very common cause of a red eye seen in the clinic. Many times, a red eye has other symptoms associated with it, such as pain, redness, or discharge. What makes a subconjunctival hemorrhage unique is that many times a patient is unaware of it unless someone else points it out or they look in a mirror. To understand it a little bit better, it's helpful to review a little bit of anatomy. The white of the eye is known as the sclera. Above this layer is a thin layer of tissue known as conjunctiva, which can't be seen on the model but lies right above it. Within this layer, there are many tiny, fragile blood vessels. If one of these blood vessels happens to break or burst, a subconjunctival hemorrhage is created as the blood becomes trapped between those two layers. If this happens, the eye truly appears blood red, usually in just one sector or one quadrant of the eye. There can be many causes for a subconjunctival hemorrhage, including straining, coughing, or heavy lifting. Trauma and eye surgery such as LASIK can also cause these. Patients who have high blood pressure or patients who are on blood thinners such as aspirin and Coumadin may be at a higher risk of developing these. There are no treatments for subconjunctival hemorrhages needed as many of these will resolve on their own in one to two weeks without any problems. Rarely are there any pain with these, but sometimes the eye can be a little irritated or the patient may feel a little discomfort. If this happens, patients can use artificial tears as needed for comfort. Typically, while the subconjunctival hemorrhages resolve, the eye may appear to change color just as a common bruise does. If these become a recurrent problem for the patient, a blood workup may be advised to rule out any underlying clotting or bleeding problems. Thank you for watching. If you would like any more information about any other eye conditions, please visit our website and our YouTube channel.